We're now Scuba Steve. So this time I'm not going to screw things up and I'm actually going to do it right. Alright, so here we go. Loading into the Cottage Pond. For some reason, it's still not giving me this freaking tutorial. What is going on? Got my rods. Got my floats, got my hooks, sinkers, baits, food, map. Everything's there. It's telling me slots empty, but what the hell didn't show me anything about hey welcome. I doesn't want to get around that. Settings. Come on. Okay, that is free tackles available once a day, so I got that. What do we get? Oh, look, we got a little Soviet bamboo rod. So, we're going to take our Soviet rod with old fishing line. We're going to use a bob float. Rusty hook. This might actually work a little better. I'm gonna set that to one. Pull it out. Run up our leader here. This I remember now. Flashlight on. We've got our small hook with dope balls. I think the, uh, that other hook is just way too big. I mean, the Soviet rod have actually been through a lot together on my other profile. So let's see if that. Hey, look at that. Retrieve acceleration, cut the line. Mm, that's the worst thing ever want to do right there. Like that. Let's eat one of these. I ate threaded loaf. Not sure if uh, it was one meter or not. No, the bobber is not moving. Set it at a meter and a half or something. I instantly went down.
Oh, fish, just take the hook. Now, of course, if I'm not in the right depth range here and not the right setup, this is not going to work with the tutorial. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to settings, pass off. And show audio. That's all there. Those are all set right. I'm gonna go ahead and just skip over that and go straight to Mosquito Lake. At least I know how to fish there. Apparently, at the moment, it wants to be a little bit difficult. But now that we're at Mosquito Lake, an area that I've got lots of, lots and, and way too much time at, should be a lot easier to do. So we're up by the food kitchen and all that. See, let's put our other stick together too. Here we have our tele stick. Actually, we need to disassemble this one here. We need we have a rusty hook. We've got 50 silver. So the first thing we're gonna do is, hey, look, this is a grocery store. We need to go. That's administration. Go over here to the tackle shop. Open it up. And we are going to need hooks. Let it load. Okay, so we can get our Siberia hook here. Tiny and a 20. Those are three bucks a piece. Just in case they rip off. We're gonna get a couple of these too. Alright, so that should be able to let us set everything up now. So we can change this over from a rusty hook to one of these. We got the old Soviet line on that. Second stick now, we're going to put the five pound line on. Throw on another one of our 14 hooks. And we'll put worms on this one. So now we got two rods set up. We need to move our second one into the second slot. <clears throat> We're going to try down here. Instead of running all the way over to the campground over there, we're just going to try over here. Our first rod out, set it at, well, that's still way too high. Run that down to about 45 centimeters. Get that one thrown out in the water here. Set that rod down. Bring out our other one. Forty-five centimeters, throw that one out. And we gotta move back enough to set that rod down. 
So now we need to sit here, zoom in, watch our bobbers, and wait for a fish to bite. And we've already got action on our number two rod. I always want to check both of them. That one's sitting still. This one's getting a little bit of a bump to it. And let's see what our first fish... Oh, I forgot. got to wait. We got action on the other line too, though, so it's not really that big of a deal. Be curious to see what we get off of this one here. Our old, oh, old Soviet rod. I remember these are fixed line poles. So if you move too far, it's going to jerk the entire tackle out of the water. Yeah, it looks like that's underwater. So let's pull out our first fish. And our first fish is a 108 gram common roach. Gonna keep that. Set that out. Put our rod down. Go back to zoom here. So the first few levels are going to be pretty easy. Check something here too. Nothing really going on right now, right here. Oh, are the rods going under? See if it comes back up. Oh, no, actually, we got something on that. Looks like a shiny sleeper. Yep. Alright, so, let's see. We're going to move over to my favorite spot on this map. So put our rods away. You never really want, you don't ever, I should rephrase that, you, from never really want to. You should never run around the map with your rods out. So we're going to run down the drunken path here. And once we get to the end, we're down here at the campfire. This is the elk's watering place. I'm a pyro, I always have to light that thing on fire. This right here is my favorite spot to fish. Back up a little bit, give it a little throw out there. Set that rod down, get our second one out. Give it a little toss out there. Could have gone a little further, but I didn't want the spaghetti going on. So let's see what we can do here. Now this spot here is kind of more, a lot more active in the mornings. But as you can see, we do have action going on on our telestick here. So we're going to see what we can bring in on it. And that is going to be a nice little perch. Now oh, we're getting the bait glitch there. It's on there. Thank you. So we'll get that one thrown out a little bit further. I'll make it a lot better. 
So we've got a Chinese sleeper, we've got a perch, and we have a common roach. And look at this, that's right there, the way that that thing is being hit, that's going to tell me that that's another perch. Perch are very aggressive when it comes to striking. And I didn't like the way he was hitting that. So we're going to move it over here. A lot of this is relying on patience. Just because that bobber goes under doesn't mean you're always going to hook it. Actually, we're going to reset our bamboo rod here. That's pretty much exactly where the hell it just was. Give it a little bit more strength here. That one is going to be better. So we've got our Soviet rod, which I'm kind of scared to set down because I know if I pick it up again, it's probably going to bounce. But given the time of day right now, we have a southeast 0.4 meter wind. And we actually do have a little action here on the Soviet. Look at this. Alright, so fish is moving it. Still moving it. Getting some decent strikes. Come on, buddy, take the bait. got under oh we've got something pretty good on here and that is gonna be a 250 gram gibble carp Let's shove this back out in the water set it down grab our other rod reposition a little bit throw that one out there of course we're too close to the water Stand in between the two, zoomed in. That way we can either hit one or two, and already we're getting the action off of our tail stick. Uh, no wonder. There we go. Set my mouse profile to a little bit slower. See what's going to happen here on this line. Yeah, take it, or is he going to spit it? I definitely would not think that this would be a perch. See, somebody reeled in a nice 1.047 kilogram carp. Fish have really bad table manners. They love playing with their food. Stop playing with your food. 
Table manners, fish. Table manners. And once again, even though it was completely underwater, it wasn't far enough to set the hook. Sometimes you gotta let him drag it, bring the bobber back up to the surface, and then wait for the second time to go down. So not a total loss, we'll just reset and do it again. But given the time, they might not be as, uh, oh, we have action again going here on our Tell stick he's under. Oh, we got him that time. What is this? We have got us another perch. So let's throw this out over this way. And, of course, throw it right next to it. Give it a few seconds. If something does take a hold of it, we'll sit and wait. If not, I'm going to reposition that because don't really want your bobbers right next to each other. Yeah, we're going to move this one over a little bit and bring him to about right there. That's where we got that last one out of. And we'll switch rods here and reposition this one to about right there. Which I think is exactly where I just had it. Nonetheless, we'll sit here and watch and wait. Oh, let's go over to our number two rod. It's underwater right now, but it's going to pop back up. Okay, so it's back up. That was our first time under. Next time that thing goes under, we're going to try and pull in a fish. Now we've got action on both poles. All right, so that time we got them. <laughs> 261 gram common roach. So that line back out, and we're going to switch over to our Soviet line and see. Oh, look at that fish is running with it. Let's grab them. 128 gram gibble carp. So we're about halfway, a little over halfway now to level two. And then we'll start dumping some points into skill trees here. And already, action again on the Soviet rod. I'm actually surprised we're catching stuff so much. And we got action too on our uh, telestick. That one's underwater. I haven't seen my bobber come back up yet on the other line. There it is. If it takes off again, though, we're going to have to uh, jump to our other rod. Oh, my fish has bad table manners, and you can see him right there running with it. Come on, buddy. Don't be stingy. Take it. And we're getting action on both right now. Yeah, I know. Let's 
Bamboo rod needs to go before the telestick. Apparently my fish is just going to decide to take off a little bit. Okay, we're going to switch real quick and grab this rod. And we're going to pull in. Oh, wow, look at this thing. Uh, 576 gram gibble carp. And we'll switch back to our civet rod. Is that a still going on with the fish right now? Yeah. I, I got tired of that fish being on there. So we got a decent sized gibble carp that puts us up to 254 XP. And now we got our telestick going nuts again. My bobber is underwater somewhere. Oh, no, he's running with it. Get back here, fish. Where is it? Where do you go? Did we get the glitch where the fish went behind? 245 gram perch. Throw that one back out. Get back to our Soviet rod. It's going batty right now. Which is weird. This spot usually does not pick up like this at night. Usually this is a good morning area. But we're one fish away unless it's only about a five five point fish from level two. The fish is running with it. Let him do that. And we're going to bring this sucker in and get level 2 out of him. So our float fishing has been brought up a little bit. i throw that out and I just saw that rod start going crazy. Let's see what happens here. Partially in water. Yep, figured he was on there. Another perch. Throw that out there. Set this down. And we're going to actually go to skills and float fishing. We want to use. He's using a fixed line. Fishing with a telescopic. We're going to put our first point into fishing with a fixed line. So we sit here and wait. We've got assigned our first skill point to the first skill tree, which is in float fishing. We want to bring up our fixed line fishing right now because for quite some time that's what we're going to be doing. At least for now. Now we might hit a little bit of a lull here because you can fish out of an area. We may or we may not. I haven't personally fished out an area yet. Alright, so there's our bobber for this one. Let's see what happens. Um, nope, he's going with it. Let's, nope, that was the wrong one. Good job, dummy. Back to the Soviet rod. Cause that was the line that was going. That this is why another reason why you don't want to have your bobbers too close together. I'm 
because you can confuse them very easily. So that's going to be our telestick. It's getting taken right now, so we're going to pull him back in. It's probably another perch. Where you go? Where is he? Here, fishy, fishy. Where is he? Fishy. Where'd you go, fishy? Fishy, fishy. There you go. 202 gram perch. We shall keep him. I will name him Jim. Now our Soviet line. Oh, whoa, hold on. That just went nuts. Uh, let's. Yep, we struck out on that one. Back up. Go to our other line, which bounced. But it still hasn't affected the fish. He's still interested in it. No, that one's underwater, and I have a really bad habit of doing that. So we got our Soviet line in the water. We've got the telestick in. Patience is the extreme virtue here. That time he took it. That was a uh, run. All right, so 519 gram perch. That's the strongest fish I've caught off of that. Now you can see that you can get extra XP if you release the fish, but we really need silver right now. We have 3890 silver. We we need as much of that as we can get because we have to buy everything. So scoop of Steve on the leaderboard there, or not on the leaderboard, but on the catching board. Got the two spaced out decently. That way I can tell which one's the telestick and which one is the Soviet rod. Which I fished, I think, almost up to level 10 with that Soviet rod before I retired it for the Starling. So we're going to switch over to our Soviet line. Which apparently was the bad call. So we'll switch back over to the Telstick momentarily. It's a dark night. My flashlight's not even showing that much. But we had the campfire to keep us company. Oh, he's running. Get him. Probably another perch. Yep, 125 gram perch. And oh boy, we've got... Uh, he must have... Oh, there he is. Come on, get him in. That looks like a gibble. Oh, that's a common roach. Nice. Yeah, he's doing that one again. Every once in a while you'll get the bait glitch. Where you have bait on your hook, but it's going to tell you otherwise. So you got to just basically go in the menu again and reselect the bait that you already had on it. And we're getting action once again. That fish is running with it. Get over here, buddy. Oh god, no, 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 he's going to snap the line. This is the downside of fishing with a f fixed line. No, 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 come here, come here, come here, come here. I will get you in. No, don't, 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 don't stress the line. Come on, buddy. Come on. I will get you through. 
Gotcha. 1.343 kg. Wow, that was a big fish to catch with a Soviet rod. Like, really big fish. So, we'll set that rod back down in the water. And skills. We're going to get a float fishing again. And we're going to continue to increase our fixed line fishing here. That was a monster. Uh, must be too far away from my telestick for it to see. That was a gigantic fish. We had action on both of them. I'm not going to be too quick to jump on this one. Okay, our Soviet line is moving. So let's see this telestick go under again. Got both bobbers dancing in the water. If that's under, let's try and get him in. Alright, we got this guy. 150 gram common roach, throw the line back in the water, set it down, take a step over, and hopefully we don't spaghetti the line on this one. Which we did, but it didn't affect. Yeah, we're going to move this back a little closer to the other rod so we can just hot switch back and forth between our poles. I don't know if I trust... Oh, yeah, we'll take him. Get in here, buddy. 339 gram give a carp. Throw that one out. Go back to zoom. And then I have a feeling by the time morning rolls around, we're going to run up there and we're going to hit that uh, field kitchen and get some free food. As much as I really wanted to pull on that line, I knew better. Well, we'll try it this time. Oh, we got him. Well, that's a decent sizer. 907 gram roach. We're almost up to level 4. And this is all just fixing with a, or fishing with a fixed line fish. Oh boy, Alan says I've been tweeted, and thank you, Ryan. That was a actually nice size fish. Let's see what this is. Oh, 726 gram perch, so we're up another level. Get that in the water. We're going to assign our third skill point. No, 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 not spin fishing. Float fishing, we're going to use our last to fill up that. So now our... Fixing with a fish line is maxed out. And it is extremely dark at 1 o'clock in the morning here at Mosquito Lake. And we're looking at, let's see, we have 47 more worms. Weekly record perch. Showing stuff there. All right, so let's go back to here and hope we don't get the bounce, which we did, but, oh, he's going with it. Come on. Take it out a little further. Go a little bit further. We got action on both rods right now. It's kind of hard. I don't know if we might have... That fish is out there kind of far with my bobber. I know if I set it down... Oh, we got somebody running on our... Other one. Reel them in. Not a, oh, there's the old bait glitch again. All 
Alright, let's see. What are we going to do? It almost seems like the, uh, the fish that was on the Soviet rod decided he didn't want it anymore, but he did drag it out there, so we should probably reset that one. And bring them about right there. Zoom in, that way we can quick switch back and forth between our Soviet and Telestick. Good thing I got the campfire over to my left because otherwise I'd be a little bit scared. It's pretty dark here. Jason could come up out of the woods and slash you. Now the one crucial thing that you're going to want eventually, especially with fixed line fishing, is the fish net. With a fish basket. That way you can... If you've got a huge fish that's putting stress on your line, you get them close enough to shore, you can just dip that net out there and get them in there without putting too much wear and tear on your tackle here. Looks like we got something going here. Yep, we got a runner. We're going to grab him while he's running. Oh, nope. He went underneath that log and took it. Let's set that back out. Take a look here and see. So now we have, as we're going up in levels, obviously it's going to take more and more XP. The first few levels are pretty easy. Now we have to get to 800 XP. I think mine main profile. That one is going to be in the... It's nowhere near as bad as like a... Alan, a.k.a. J. Hendrix. He's got millions of XP to go between uh, levels. So I don't feel so bad about that, even with my main character. Him only being a level 12, I believe. Now, if you guys hear that popping and crackling every once in a while, that is just my uh, vape. Proud to say I'm over one year smoke free. And he's running with it. Oh, God. He put some stress on that line there. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Come on. No. Damn it. See, sometimes they'll break the line like that. So now we got to go into inventory. We've got our five-pound line. So what we're going to do when we cash in our fish is we are going to invest in some stronger line. Bait. We're going to go back with the worms. So that was a stupid move on my part. That was obviously way too strong of a fish. And I have 21 fish in my keep net. As you can see, that's right above the compass there. I usually try to fish and fish and fish and fish till my uh, food gets down into the red. Seeing how we're at Mosquito Lake. Once per day, you're allowed to go to the field kitchen and get a free meal. So, 
once the it changes from yellow down into red, then we'll go up and get our uh, food from the food kitchen. And we're going to have to go back to the tackle store because I'm going to have to get some stronger line here. Five pound line, that fish, obviously, you guys saw, with a fixed line, you don't have any way to put slack in it. So the, there's no way to absorb the shock between the line and the reel. There's no slack and just the sheer tension on it. Me moving backwards a little bit to try and bring him in without pulling up on the rod as well. That was enough to break the line, so we lost a float, we lost a hook, and we lost a piece of our line. Now, luckily, these we don't have, we're not into spin fishing yet, so it's not like a lot of line got lost, but still, when you don't have much money, anytime you have a tackle failure because you had a huge fish on there, which probably was more than what your gear was rated for, you're going to get a hit like that and it's going to snap your equipment. I'm just glad that right now the line is the weak point because I know Alan personally broke his telestick but it was because he was he doesn't care. Right, so we have nothing really interested right now. It's not going to hurt to switch over here throw that one there and then we'll reset our Soviet stick which we're too far away so we'll reset that one too move him over a little bit closer to our whoops other one get this guy out there we'll zoom back in and we can turn our flashlight off because it's now 420 <laughs> 420 So now we're just basically going to sit around and wait a little while and see if we can get something going here. Just trying to maximize on the current fish that I have. Obviously the more fish you have, the more money you get. Come on. Oh, now we got both lines. I'm committed to the Soviet. Unless I see that line on the telestick just start sailing off. Oh, we got a sailor on this one. So we're going to bring in a gibble carp. And now the sun is coming up. We're going to go ahead and put that rod up. Wow, he pulled that way over there. Alright, so we'll have 23 fish. And this is now, sadly, the time where everything starts going nuts over on this end. Bring in another perch. And you know what? Actually, I'm just going to keep trying my luck here. Screw it. We're still good on uh, food. We'll just stay zoomed in on our Soviet rod and see which line gets the action first. And it looked like they were pretty interested. Of course, this is the perfect time to be over here. And once again, Soviet is going. Now, another key thing that for beginners, you have to be careful with your fish keep because, oh, we got a runner on line number two here. So let's oh, get him in here. He's running. Ooh, that's a good sizer. 438 gram perch. And let's see what we can do here. Uh, 
I think I might have scared him a little bit with that little bit of line jump. But what I was saying is you got to be careful with all your fish in there. Usually you don't want to have, you don't want to keep your fish in your fish keep for more than a day because the minute that you take them out of the water and you put them into your uh, fish net, they start degrading. They'll start at 100% obviously and they'll just start going down and down and down. So the more frequently, it doesn't matter if you've got 15, 20 fish. As long as you can keep them to where they're as fresh as possible, you'll get more money out of them. Now, of course, you're driving the bus, Alan. Now, this guy's just going to play with it. Now, you're coming in with me now. You're mine. Another perch. And I have such a bad habit of doing that. Why do I always... I gotta take a little bit more time aiming. The real challenge is going to be once we unlock Winding Rivulet. Because that is... That's a harder lake to fish. Mainly because there's only one good spot for float fishing. That Winding Rivulet has... A very wicked current. So we might be sitting here at Mosquito Lake for a while. You definitely have to have a bottom feeder set up for Winding Rivulet. It's not even bad to have a uh, feeder set up for here. So we're going to reel this in. Another perch. And there's the bait thing again. Over there. There we go. Got them separated a little bit. Separation is the key. So I'm just going to try and go for max amount of fish right now. Seeing how my food slider is not going down as fast as I thought. Comfort level's good. And we've got another runner there. And it'll be another perch. Now, another thing, too, is looking at the bars there. Our top bar is our energy. The second bar down is our food. The one with the horseshoe is luck. And then the very bottom bar, that is your comfort level. You'll notice if it's raining or if it's cold and raining that that bar will go down significantly. I okay, see my line getting pulled, but once again I yanked it out too early. It's the biggest rookie mistake that I make over and over and over again. I get excited every time I see something going on my line. I want to take it. Um, that guy's moving with it, but yanked it out again. I have about as much patience as a stone. Actually, no, I think that would be insulting stones. They have more patience than me. So I see the lure, or the bobber going underwater, and it's, ooh, shiny red ball, gotta get it. Gotta get it, gotta get it, gotta get it. I don't care if I dive in the water and catch the fish barehanded. Gotta do it. We've got 27 fish in the keep. And we're just grinding out right now. My food slider is not going down near as much as I thought.
But I think it's almost time. If I can get the 30 fish, I'll go sell 30 fish, see how much I get, and see what I can do. As far as getting some stronger line, because God knows I need it after snapping it once. Go up to maybe a 7 pound. Alright, see if we can get anything over there with that. So we can, I think, still switch rods. Yep, close enough. We'll move that in here. Zoom in. And I might need to reposition that Soviet. That or we're just hitting the uh, end of the morning rush here. We're going to go back to our telestick here because it's showing some signs. Oh, he's playing with it big time. That time I got him. That's going to be another perch. 58 gram. But even though they're not King Kong fish, it doesn't really matter because every time you catch one, it progresses your uh, whatever type of fishing you're using, like mine, float fishing. It's increasing my percentage on it. And this is definitely going to be a perch the way he's biting on it. And I'm going to assume that that one was on the telestick that the fish got away. So we'll pull it out. Toss it back in. And we will try this again. I just need two more fish. Switch over to our Soviet rod. Pull that one in. Cast it out. Go back to our telestick because it's got some action going on. If we get two more fish, we can make it over to the fish store. Alright, so there's one. Another perch. So our float fishing, you can see now, is up to 5.7%. Toss that one in next to our other one. And hopefully we can maybe get 31 fish. Who knows? I don't know with these two being so close together whether it's going to affect it or not. What's up? My name is Kay. Oh, we got some action here. Come on. Take it. Take it. That's definitely a perch, though. Violent. We're going to drag this sucker in. 284 gram perch. That is 30 fish, so... I think we're in a uproot. We're close enough to being in the red, too. We're going to make our way all the way back over there to the village. going to run in here. Always oh, on the drunk path. First thing we're going to do is go to the fish market and we're going to 
sell our fish. We could see the this one is down. It was caught 49 minutes ago. It's down to 97%. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight our first fish. Scroll to the bottom. Hold shift. It'll highlight all of them. You can see that we'll get $15.52 in silver for those 30 fish. We sold them. And now we're back up to $54.42 of silver. And with that, we need to go over to the tackle store. And we need to buy some stronger line. So we'll put it on the line here. Super line is actually what I like using. Three pound, five pound, seven pound. I know I can put the seven pound test on my telestick. And then I should be able to put the five pound on the Soviet. So there we eight. Stamina's back up. Oh, we didn't buy baits. Back in the tackle store. We we also have to buy a hook. So we destroyed that one. So we'll go with another S14. Our float. That got taken too. So we're going to buy one of those. And now we got to buy bait. So worms, we've got those. We're going to buy a couple of those. Maggots work real good here too. We're going to get some blood worms. We're going to get some maggots. And then let's see what we can do. How much is that? We're going to go ahead and splurge. And we're going to buy the uh, 3 meter landing net. Just twenty seven fifty. So now we're about broke. And we're going to go in here and edit this. We got 5 pound line. We're going to take that off. And we're going to put the 7 pound super line on it. So I'll take care of that one, and then we'll go to our other stick, which has the Soviet line on it. And we'll put the five pound line on. So that should keep us from snapping things. I'm going to try the other spot down here and see if it works a little bit better right here by the fish market. Baits, too. We're going to put well, our Soviet rod... Let's try blood worms on that. So let's put this over here. Cast that out. Set the rod down. And on our second rod for bait, we're going to try maggots. Throw that in. And we'll set that one down as well. Let's we'll sit here and see what happened. We got a message. Oh, we got a message. Oh, look at this. Alan sending me stuff. Haha. <laughs> he sent me uh, ground bait. So he's sending me a bunch of uh, Crucian Prussian Carp Mix ground bait. Which that's another thing that we can do here is chum the waters. So let's go to the telestick here. It looks like it's. I saw that our Soviet was underwater still. Come on. You know, you want some of this. I'm going to switch over here to this one. Oh, we've definitely got a fish on it. So we'll pull in a 102 gram Chinese sleeper, which is going to bring our float fishing up to 
And there, there's one thing that I'm dying to try out. Which has absolutely nothing to do with the game, but... I just thought it was funny, so I want to test it out and see. Nope. Let's go over to our telestick. It's currently underwater. Yeah, I didn't like where it was at. Alright, now we can technically chum the living daylights out of the water here. Since Alan did send me a ton of Crucian Prussian carp ground bait. So we'll go back to our Soviet stick here. I hate with the fixed line how it always bounces, but usually it doesn't affect the fish as we can see bobbers in the water. Looks like he's still taking it down, but. Uh, didn't take a look when I was there to see if they did have cheese, but I know cheese is an amazing thing to have. Cheese is like the wonder bait. You can catch some monster carp on cheese. And catfish too. Well, Alan calls them kitty fish. Alan over there, a.k.a. Jay Hendrix, he's a, uh, well, to make the joke, we call him the resident master baiter, because he's literally spent so much time making baits, lures, and everything that there's pretty much nothing that he hasn't really sunk a lot of time and effort into. How is cheese overrated, Alan? I've seen some really big fish brought in by cheese. Well, there are better baits, but as far as the low end, cheese works pretty good. I personally have not caught anything on cheese. Not even on my other profile. Alright, so I think our line is running, so we're going to pull this guy in. Oh, I caught a frog! Check that out! 62 gram frog. We're going to keep him. I caught Kermit. Kermit the frog has been caught. Well, of course there's better baits for bigger fish, but... Look at the two rods I have. I have the Telestick and the, the Soviet. That'll snap everything in half if I try to go for a big fish. The biggest I pulled in, I think it was the Telestick, and I was even stressing that, was a 1.343 kg gibble. So these guys are like bloodworms. You know you want it. All you gotta do is take it. Stop playing mind games with me. Okay, it's under. The line is not moving out though. Hoppers back up. Hopefully next time it goes under we can snatch another fish. Like so. Yep. There we go. I 
I've gotten lucky so far with my telestick. I'm so, I was actually surprised that I pulled in that big of a fish with only five pound test on it. And now that I've got seven pound on it, I shouldn't have a problem if I do hook into a larger tench or a crucian or a gibble. Oh, they're not having anything on that telestick right now. Bloodworms seem to be the uh, beta choice right now. The line is not getting pulled yet. Wait for the bobber to come up. Really, eight pound test and you snap the line? Did it overstress the rod? Oh, well, actually, not the rod, but it had to have pulled your uh, the bar into the red for it to snap that line. I didn't say fish got away, but. Now that's a good sized fish. Tail stick with 16 pound line, get a 2.3 kg tench. I'm gonna pop that out of the water. Set it back over here. Switch over to our tail stick because it right now is not really happy. So I can move over here and get this a little bit further over this way. And we can cross the rods. We are crossing rods right now. Please don't jump. Oh, he's still going down with it. Oh, it looks like our other bobber went in the water too. I do have maggots right now on the telestick, so hopefully I can get something decent off of that. Oh yeah, there's definitely some locations here. They're not beginner friendly. This is a good spot depending on the time of day and the weather. But I have hooked into some uh, pretty decent sized fish here at Mosquito. Good lord, what do I have now? Oh, I gotta check this out. Alan sent some more bait. Oh, look, we got some cottage cheese dough, some garlic dough, and some semolina from Hemi 316. Thanks for the bait. And both of my fish got away. <laughs> Alright, let's move positions here. Part of me wants to go back to where I always fish at. But I also want to run around the other side of the lake too. So we had a good little run here. I gotta find the right spot again. Ah, I'm smacking trees. I'm the Bill Dance of Russian fishing. And just because? Ah, oh, darn, couldn't light it. I'm run around to the back side here through the high weeds. Fifty five forty five. 
instant break. So we're getting close. I think it's to me this next one here. There's the lily pads. There's the spot I was looking for right there. So this one has maggots on it. We're going to cast it out about right there. And that's another bad thing that I just did. I touched the water with the rod before it went down. And we'll get this one out. Cast it in. And we have to back up to be able to get it. This is usually a pretty good spot here too. <laughs> I actually do have that picture where the uh, snake fell on him. That was the time where he uh, had all his rods in the back of his truck and he slammed the tailgate shut and broke them all. That was a great one too. So the fish got away on that one. Recast out. Zoom in. And it's funny that I get on the... Uh... Oh boy. Hopefully we can uh, catch something decent here. We're sitting. Oh, Let's see our right here is we got something on it. It's not. Oh, another frog. So our float fishing is now up to six point seven, and I'm standing too close in the water. Right now is the perfect time if I had a feeder rod. I'm gonna I'd throw that sucker right out to the right and let it go. So hopefully we'll get some action here going again. I don't know what it is with me and catching frogs. Now all of a sudden. <laughs> I've caught probably now about half a dozen frogs. And interestingly, I think I think he got that one on a blood worm. That seems to do the trick is the blood worm. All right, which rod's gonna go under first? Telestick or Soviet? I think the grind will be now for uh, getting another fixed line rod, mainly the Starling. And we got both of them dancing. Let's go. We need something. Oh, oh, we gotta switch over to this rod. Oh, check this out. I think that's a uh, Crucian. Yes, 12 gram Crucian carp. Nice. That'll give us time to switch back over to our telestick here, which is still bouncing in the water. And now we've got the other one going crazy too. And we're going to have to switch back over to our Soviet rod because we have another fish on that one. It's another perch. Let's see where our bobber are. Our bobber's in the lily pad. My weekly record is a 74 gram frog. <laughs> Come on. Get that out. Hey, common roach, and we got level five out of that. And I did what I hate doing again. 
so we'll go to our skill trees here. And since right now we have nothing but that, we're going to go to our telescopic. We're going to add a point there. And we're good. And that's going to be our telestick going nuts again. That's by all means, I'm not the most technical fisherman of all, but if you enjoy enjoy the streams, make sure you hit the follow button. That way you guys get notified when I go live. I'll be trying to crank out a video per day. Great, he had to stick it right in line with the other one. Um, move it away. Put it back underwater. Yeah, for some reason that's not working right now. Let me take a quick look at something here after... I either lose this fish. Oh, that's why Alan just reminded me. See, that's the other thing that Alan has all the experience in this, and I, I managed to get two out of three programs open that I needed. <laughs> now, funny enough, there is the, the uh, universal line that we always use. Alan broke it. But yeah, he rigged it. I'll agree with that. Alright, so I need to open that too as well. There we go. That might hopefully fix things. Who knows? But I did forget to open up Streamlabs. Where are you going with that? No, no, get over here. Crucian. I need like a sticky note stapled to my forehead to remember all the things I have to turn on. Streamlabs is now turned on. I totally, totally blanked on that one. So now that Streamlabs is running, it won't show that Alan's rigged. See, my streaming experience and all that stuff has always been geared on YouTube. My channel on there, uh, it's almost a decade of work on that channel. So I never really had the, uh, whoa, where are you going, buddy? Never really had the, uh, that's a nice size one right there. Personal record for maximum total weight of fish caught for one day. I never really had the drive or motivation to throw up a Twitch channel, but seeing how that the uh, R4 community has it, specifically on Twitch, I had I felt I had to do it. Yeah, you should do that. That and get the uh, Ankh bot working right. I know we got the majority of things working. Pulling another common roach. Cast that back out there. I 
I know it's always a cardinal sin to leave the rods in the water. But, oh, nope, come on. Really, every, every time? I was wondering what that was. Oh, got a chub. Got a chubby. Now, my YouTube channel is more for, like, uh, say, uh, Gold Rush Farming Sim, American Truck Simulator, iRacing. Pretty much all the other, all my Steam games and stuff that I play and I stream. That's usually what you're going to see on my YouTube I think the Twitch is going to be specifically dedicated to RF4. Hey, there we go. Now things are starting to catch up. Come on, Soviet Rod, do your magic. Do your magic. A bobber is standing up out of the water. There we go. I'm surprised that this little pole puts up with all the hell that I put it through. Now I got my hand hovering over the rod selector. That one's moving with it. Oh, we got him. Her 68 gram. Switch out rods. The fish aren't making it easy on me right now. Mother Nature is calling something fierce. But I can never abandon it when there's fish in the water, and I don't want to keep. I don't want to pull my rods out of the water. So now we have to get to a thousand XP for the uh, level six. It's the fun part. I would like to pull in a nice crucian or a uh, gibble. Oh yeah, three rods is definitely a handful. Unless it's a feeder rod. If I got three float rods out, yeah, that's definitely, uh, that's going to be nonstop. Oh. Oh, gotta go to this one, go to this one, go to this one. Nope, now I gotta go to this one. But I want to challenge myself. See, now I've never had three fixed line rods in there. And I know that I'm going to have to do a crazy grind to make up for all that money that I spent. But I did knock out a big ticket item fairly early. I do have the landing net. Oh yeah, the feeder rod, sometimes I'll have my uh, fixed lines in the water. Nothing. The minute I set that feeder down, boom, line is out, bells are going off, and I'm trying to scramble back over, get it reset, and by the time it's reset, usually there's another fish right back on it again. And the line is not moving on the Soviet, so I'm not too worried about grabbing that yet. I really want to see what's on this one. Ah, uh, you know what? Oh, that just popped the bobber out. Which I knew it was going to do. But it still didn't affect the fish. He's still gung-ho for it. That bobber's bouncing like it's a perch over there. 
Yeah, unlike a uh, another unmentioned game, you do not lose the bait, which is nice. Alright, so we'll reset these. Hopefully they don't go too batty. And hopefully I can find a uh, tree sitting over there in the uh, back behind these reeds here. Because Mother Nature is not going to wait anymore. I've had way too much uh, tea to drink this morning. So we're going to take a uh, quick break and let you guys enjoy my nice little gif here. Alright, there we go, that's much better. Got a nice uh, change of clothes. Because being Bill Dance, you tend to fall in the water an awful lot. It looks like we got some on that Soviet rod. Let's see what we can pull in here. We will get us a nice Crucian carp. Stick that back out, go after our Telestick. Turn the flashlight. Now I was going to uh, add music to uh, Bill Dance repetitively falling in the water. Either like a Foggy Mountain Breakdown, Rocky Top, or like the Benny Hill theme song. But Alan made a great point. If I did that, they would mute that section of all the videos. And YouTube would have an absolute field day with that. Because it's all trademark music. Oh, look, we got a lucky fish here. So our float fishing is up to 8.7. Don't have as many in the basket this time, but we do have some decent ones in there, including the frogs. I'm stocked up now with a fresh uh, Monster Energy uh, Mean Bean, so I'm good to go for a little while. So we add a little bit of luck there to our meter. Hopefully that'll mean I can catch a huge frog or something. The one thing I'm glad to see though is when I, well actually no, I haven't logged in yet on my other profile. I guarantee you I'm going to have like 400, 400 fillets if uh if I remember correctly from last night. I don't medic sent 
Allen 400 fillets, and then Allen's like, what the hell am I going to do with that? Send it to me. So we'll see if the uh, fillet torch gets passed along, and I end up with 400 fillets. Now, gifting in this game is the thing that is totally acceptable. Say, uh, Alan was out of Nightcrawlers and I had a ton of them. I sent them to him. No big deal. Oh, let me get a new message. And I'd be Alan again. You ass! Really? There's the fish. The pieces of fish. Ah! We had a 920 gram chub there. That was worth some decent XP. I'm kind of scared to look now and see what I have. Ah, uh, thank God it's only a hundred pieces. Of course, I can't use those fillets right now because that would snap every piece of gear I have. Please don't jump. Oh, we had the little stringy line bug there, but it didn't affect anything. Didn't move the bobber, so we're good. I really like how when they designed this game, the full 24-hour day transition in here is one real-life hour. That helps me keep track of uh, how much of a how much time I spend. He's running with that. I knew he was on there. There's another Crucian carp. As much as I want to chum the waters right now, might be a little bit dangerous. But I might throw 10 in. Which line is going to go first? Is it going to be the Soviet? Is it going to be the Telly? Oh, Soviet's underwater. I instantly sprung it back up. And it is not bouncing anymore. Let's reposition that over here. Oh, can't do that. Come on, let me set it down. Back up a little. Really? Oh, because I'm in the weeds. There. Dummy. I am not the smartest person. Therefore, I'll probably end up chumming this area. Great, now we're going to have to play roulette with rods. Are you still on there? So I'm taking it up to the top. Next time we go into the village, I'm going to have to look and see how much it's going to cost for that starling stick. You come with me. So our float fish is now up to 9.3, and really, I had to do that. Come on, catch something on that one so I can throw it the other way.
stop playing with your food. That's very, very rude table manners. Actually, I kind of almost want to check something. I'm going to go off about the, uh, the fish. And get some wealth of knowledge here. So let me check something real quick here. Where is it? I have so many freaking tabs, it's not even funny. Now you know I had to come in here, right? Yeah, that's what I figured, you asshole. <laughs> so, a hundred pieces of fish, huh? To what? S snap every fucking piece of gear I have? You know that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> They're doing a lot of float fishing. You do realize the strongest line I have right now is uh, seven pound. <laughs> There we go. Seems like everything. I'm glad you uh, said that about uh, Streamlabs. I completely forgot about that. Well, be glad that I was lucky enough to get uh, Ankba and. Uh, yeah, because it's not set up. Yes. Yes, Naz and Streamlabs is running. I'm still in the learning. The other thing is what? The hell that fish got there is. Unless you set it up, then no. I don't think you did. Then again, I don't remember. You were too busy doing all kinds of things inside that computer. An exploit? Where is that at? I see follow account, latest follower, follower name, viewer text, viewer number. Lovely. Well, we'll have to find out here real quick. Let's see, uh, Twitch cheers alert. That's the last thing. Oh. Yeah. Yep, it's on.
By all means, hit him. <laughs> Only 500, so that's half of a thousand, so yeah, alright. Slacker. Really? <laughs> that sounds like the perfect place to hide a body. Or several bodies. <laughs> That's where Jimmy Hoffa is. He's not under the 50-yard line at Lambeau Field. He's at Bear Lake. Yeah. I realized that after I did it. Give me a sec. Jump over there right now. There we go. Yeah, for some reason when uh, I did things, the tutorial was not working at all. So I just skipped it. I did. What happened was is when I created a fucking account the other night. Like all the things popped up. But then the next time I tried to go in it, it was like, nope, not doing it. Tried that, still didn't work. Yeah. Like, I mean, I was doing stuff that was along the line, so I was like, okay, I just couldn't remember what the meter depth was and all that stuff. But without the prompt boxes, it was pretty much useless, so I just decided to skip and go straight to Mosquito. Because honestly, you don't get anything out of it, other than maybe a level. Yeah. Yeah, this is the main reason why I jumped in chat, because you're like the leader when it comes to doing this crap, because you do it every day, and you've got a ton more experience in it. God, for some reason, I'm getting my float fishing up really fast. And then every, it hits a wall. Well, it's just like everything. Yeah.
think you might become a uh, staple when you're not streaming in my videos. No, because you actually know just about everything there is to need to know. Okay, do you, do you really want to go down this road compared to what I know? Well, yeah, Medic's been around since the game literally existed. So there you go. And how long did it take you to convince me to download this? Well, yeah. I didn't refuse. It's just it was... It really... I was like, I don't understand Russian. And the translator was not exactly translating it the way it should have. If you just even remotely compared yourself to a translator, I'm going to slap you with a fish. No, I'll slap you with a frog. And then we can split it and we can have frog legs. I've got a few of them. Oh my god, seriously? Yes, they do. Frog legs are delicious. The only problem is, is you've got to catch a crap load of them. Otherwise, you're going to run out really fast. It's just like shrimp. Ooh, bream mix. Nice. Holy crap. Yeah, let me just dump off 10,000 uh, ground bait here. Oh, I know. Which all three of us fall in that category? Yes, exactly. We've, we've got to figure out how to do something with minimal effort, so yeah, we have the best ideas. I'm pretty sure it will. As long as those ideas don't stay, uh, well, no. Alan, what's your, what, what's your famous line about, uh, farts and ideas? <laughs> Just modify the last word. Why, did you had, uh, okay, that must mean that you held one in this morning and it travels up your spine and it gave you a crappy idea. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> yeah. Did you really? Wow, that's like a record for you. You're going to pay for it tonight. You say this now. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> Is there a he? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you know damn well he is. <laughs> if we had those, that'd be nice. If anybody needs a poncho, it's me, because my Bill Dance guy falling in the water over and over. Why do you think I named my guy Scuba Steve? God, what is that? And why is it taking the line weird? That was interesting. Yeah, I don't know whether I should grind for uh, a third fixed line or if I should go for a feeder. Oh, chill out. Uh, yeah, there, there are. Oh, yeah. So throw 10 in and then after 8 hours throw in more. Okay. I seriously need to tell these fish to stop playing with their food. I mean, it is going absolutely nuts on it, but it hasn't taken the bobber under yet. Oh, that's probably not a good sign either. The other one's going nuts. There's something on that one. That's a crucian? Oh, that's a perch. It's hard to see. Alright, so let's see. What do I have on me? Good lord. We're playing ski ball with bait. Making it rain. Where the heck did my bobber go? Oh god, no, we had a fish out on that telestick. Nice crucian. All right, so we've chummed the waters. That's the one thing that I still hate about mainly just the uh, Soviet rod. Every time you pick it up, it just yeah. And it, yep. 
The good thing is, though, is if I snap it over and over and over again, I can just go get it again. It's like no matter how much slack you leave in the line sitting there, it's still just going to... And that's kind of along the lines of the uh, bug that I saw with the feeder rod and the uh, spinner. It's mainly it was just on the uh, the feeder. If it was sitting on the ground and well sitting on its holder, and you were going to pick it up, the line would do the same thing, regardless of whether or not it touched the water first or not. I still have to get that recorded and send it into uh, Gene so he can take a look at it. It could just be something I'm doing wrong, or it could be something... Cause it, it doesn't happen all the time, but at least 60% of the time. I can only dream of 50. Good grief. But those are odd hooks, aren't they? Wow. Yeah. And you're mass producing them just to get your skill up, you use the, the crappy ones. Wow. Oh, yeah. Come on, fishies. I love when they take the bobber up out of the water. I know you're running with it. Get back here. There we go. Now, the, hey, there's a tench. Finally. And that's the first one I've caught since I've been here. Oh, this is killing me. I'm, I'm hearing nothing but Harleys riding up and down the highway out there, and it's killing me to not be on mine. Hell, it's in the 80s, I think. Seventy-seven. Seventy-seven, I'm sorry. But still... That's snowmobile weather. If there's snow on the ground, yeah. That was my favorite part about growing up in Connecticut. We always went up to, uh... Where was it? It was a place in New Hampshire. 
big ski place, but they had some awesome snowmobile trails. We would go to Mount Washington, but that was riding on private land. I kind of miss the East Coast, but I don't miss the people and how expensive it was to live there. The Crucian. Follow it up with a, another Crucian. I would hope so. There's all those bait balls in the water. Hey, if I want to feel the pain, I'll just go log into my main profile. Oh, I know. But it still hurts. It still hurts. Like, no, I don't want to go that far. Uh. I had Christian Bale all queued up, but I forgot he drops the F-bomb in it. Oh my god, Mike talked me into running the most, uh, not disastrous, but the most awfully awesome race last night. It was a hosted street stock at Charlotte, 75 laps. These guys could not drive to save. I mean, they couldn't even drive Miss Daisy. Miss Daisy would have whooped their ass with a handbag. It was hilarious. Mike, there's unlimited fast repairs, so that was the number one. This is going to be death. I ended up getting third somehow, and Mike ended up getting screwed because he kept getting wrecked by this 08 car. But it was hilarious. We got to the point where we were laughing more than anything. And they changed the handling of those cars. They run like crap now. At least at Charlotte they do. They, they slide. They don't even track straight anymore. They dog legs so bad it's not even funny. But no, it was so bad of a race, I had to save the replay so I can stream it later. And then we've got three recruitment races later and I think it's uh, Texas, Iowa, and Michigan. Come on, Lure. That uh, was annoying me. Let's see. 
It's good to see a lot of names that I recognize from the forum on here. Yeah. Yep. Definitely. That's something that we have to do when we uh, set up the bot. Is it? Well, no, like how you have it to where it does the, uh, yeah. Yeah, that way it'll drop the links to all that. I'm just not naming mine the Purple Rain Bot. Great song. What if I want Zoolander? <laughs> no, it had to be something toilet related because that's what happened to Scuba TV. It ultimately ended up getting flushed in the toilet. No! Steve! That's going to be like the hardest thing is naming the bot. Oh, you weren't in TeamSpeak last night. Cody's, uh... You know he's engaged. Yeah. Well, his uh, fiance's mom bought him a goat as like a joke. And it was up to Cody to name the goat. So, of course, my, no, my smart ass has to come in and be like, well, why don't you just name it after her mother since she's the one that bought it? And he did. He goes, that's it. I'm naming it that. He's like, I already thought of that, but her middle name is Joe. So that's, that's the ghost name. The ghost name is Joe. And he literally got up away from the computer and went to Lindsay. I was like, Mike, if he comes back and he's crying, it's not my fault. fish. Oh, wow, that's a, it's a pretty damn big chub. 3.107 kg. Where are you going with that? Uh, it was over 3 kg for a chub. 3.107. That's the uh, weekly record. Starting to think that buying that uh, 
fishnet so early was not a bright idea. I don't know. Because now I'm at the grind for forever till I can afford a uh, rod and reel. Now, mind it. Thirty one. Oh, got a hundred. How far did you get? <laughs> so you made James Brown and fish. I've never gone over uh, 50. I always set one rod down the other one starts going off too. This one's been going off for forever. Yeah. I just rechum the water. I'm still thinking about adding, uh, if I could find a uh, MP3 of it somewhere, adding a uh, Rocky Top to that uh, Bill Dance GIF, even though I n know it'll just. At least they won't mute the entire video, but they, they'll screw me on YouTube. Really? If it's, if it's copyrighted material, period, it doesn't matter if it plays for two seconds or if it plays for two minutes. They'll hit me with a copyright claim on it and they'll block. They'll do, Actually, they might just demonetize the video, which honestly I don't care. If I can get the uh, follower count up on here to where monetization comes in, does music affect that too? That's what I want. Because I've noticed like a lot of the big name Twitch people, they're listening to like legit music in the background and they're still... Yeah, but
just the yeah so basically you're putting in work for nothing <clears throat> That's why I don't like friendly to it. Permanent upload. Yeah, two weeks. Yeah. Which that takes quite a bit of work to get to. I think it's a thousand, uh, a thousand to become a partner. I don't remember what it is for affiliated. Oh, okay. An affiliate is when you start actually making. Okay. Yeah, YouTube's a hell of a lot harder. Which is why it's taking me so damn long to get where I was with YouTube. I see that, you dumb fish. Common roach. God, it may be almost 80 outside, but I think somebody set the freaking thermostat on the ice cube. Record for the Atlantic salmon is 4.3. Oh my god, common carp? 9.753. That is freaking huge. The asp is 2.8. Ha! <laughs> Not in my case. Is gonna go under first. I'll put my faith in uh, 
that's hard. This is bad. My eyes are literally darting back and forth between the two boppers. Boing. Oh, there we go. Hey, lucky one. And we'll pull on another cushion. Oh, there's the bait glitch again. I don't know why it does that. That's weird because I get it a lot. And, well, actually, the only times I ever get it is after I bring a fish in. And I got to cast back out, it says there's no bait on the hook. There is bait not chosen again. Closer. I'm gonna try and get at least 50 fish in the keep this time. Fisher. Patience is virtue. That's something I don't have. Whoa. Ah, oh, really? He spit it out? You suck.
This is bad even on my lowest uh, lowest profile for the uh, DPI on the mouse. It's still kind of fast. Yeah. I mean, I've got three different settings. I can just click on the mouse to bring them down. I got one set up for like PUBG, one for, well, that's the main one I use for everything. That was a Steam message I just heard. Pull the bait and change it out to this. That one's pulling it. Whoa, 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 where are you going, dude? Come here. There we go. Had to find the fish. Bait. Yeah, let's try a piece of fish. Oh my god, that is huge. Uh, yeah, I was about to say, that's freaking huge. Yeah. Yeah, I put it on there. It looks like it was a, I had a fish on my hook that I was going to throw in the water. Part of me wants to uproot and go to a different spot. Oh, that's a nice size one. Oh, level six. <laughs> For the second time, level six. Mm, let's see. I've got my fixed line maxed. One in fishing with a telescopic. And do that. Coming roach. And now it's starting to get to the uh, the thousands for XP, which still isn't nothing, I know. Quit my whining. It's <clears throat> a blood moon tonight. Well, it's the old saying, red at night, sailors delight. Red in the morning, sailor take warning. Oh, my God, it's hunger starting to go. Put 
It's alright, I can probably fish a little while before he dies of starvation. Just to hold him over, I'll eat a uh, piece of bread. There we go, I got him good for a while. Mouse setting. Sensitivity. Bring it down about there. That's better. Still a little crazy, but... There's only so far I know without bringing it all the way till it's dead. Jeez. Not nice. That's a little bit of a lull right now.
Ten four. I don't remember how many day cycles I've gone through right now. That'll tell me how many hours. Two days in game. Really doesn't feel like that. Yeah, apparently. Chinese sleeper. Wouldn't that only work if I had a bot? <laughs> Jeez. Good Lord. Yeah, not the ones that you're going to chop up and handle electrum. That'd be fun when I start doing cut bait. That's still a million miles away though. Come on, daylight. Now, I can't believe that it was, my computer does not like the X64 and it has to run off of the uh, other one because now it's nowhere even close to running all of my CPU. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, you wanna know how much uh my uh CPU use total is? GPU's only taken uh three percent of it. Oh, well, Xbox only taking three percent. It's only at fifty. It's only in the fifties, and my CPU is maxing at maybe like seventy. Way less strain. What time is it? Already? Still.
Yeah. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. We need them fishes. There we go, come on. Quit bouncing it, take it. That's hitting it like a perch would. A lot of bounce, not a lot of action. There we go, come on. God dang it. No idea where the hell that was. Let's see what they go after first. Forty four fish that should pay out better, huh? Let's see, we have a bait on this. I'll show this. Swap bait on this. To this. And already, why not? Chinese sleeper. Mm. Set it down. Damn it.
Yep, it's got something on it. Oh, and like an idiot. Disappoint me this time. Gotcha that time. Boat fish. Take it. Gotcha. Common roach. Damn it, now it's found the Let's try again on the tail stick. Mm, no luck that time. I know that Soviet's just gonna springboard when I pick it up. Patience. Yeah. And it's under, let's try. Yep, yeah, that time. Surprised if any bites on that out there. Wow, instantly. So, go check that thing.
spring border. Oh, he's running with it. Get over here. Chinese sleeper. And my guy's getting hungry again. See the damn bobber on that one. Oh, that's underwater. Yep. Come on, take it. Fifty three would be a good number to end on. Let's see how much money I make. <clears throat> Under bring him in. Common Roach. There's our XP and luckily we're right next to the market. And take all of our fish. Scroll down. Shift. 53 fish only pays 13.68. So that means we need to go up real quick and take a look at the tackle. Versus what I want to get. See how much we're going to grind. So, let's see, we're going to want rods. Telestick Starling is $58. That's a good fixed line. The telescopic, that's 450 Holy crap. 400 something for a spinning, casting, feeder rods. Here we go. I'm gonna get a decent, uh, the, there's the Express Sorrento rod, that's what I've used before. We can get that for 3780. And real wise, what did I have for a. Oh, Baycasters. Let's see, what did I use before? I had a, uh,. Those are all expensive. Might use the... That's a 3 kg drag. Alright, so we can actually get a, a decent setup fairly cheap. So 
So we do that plus our basic feeder rod for 37. That's a medium rod. All right, cool. So that, that'll show everything that we need. So we, we don't have to grind as hard as we thought we did. We sold our fish off. I think that's going to make a great end for today's stream. We've gone from level 1 to level 6. Started out before I bought all the baits, the, all the hooks and all the other stuff, the line. We were over $50. We're back to 20 we need to make about another thirty dollars before we can invest in a uh, feeder setup. But thanks for everybody for watching. Don't forget if you like to see to uh, follow, and uh, we'll see you guys next time.